I had the privilege of growing up in a church that taught the Word of God every Sunday. And so from a very early age, I heard the good news of Jesus Christ. But for some reason, I never accepted that message for myself. And actually, as I got into my teen years, I doubted whether or not I was really saved. And I had questions about that. But unfortunately, I was so shy that I was afraid to go ask anybody about it. I was afraid to tell somebody that, hey, I do attend the church, but I'm not sure if I have a personal relationship with Christ. Then a friend of mine, when I was a senior in high school, invited me to a basketball jamboree down at Highland Park Baptist Church in Chattanooga, Tennessee. He just wanted me to come and be one of the basketball players, and I didn't even know before I got there that they also had preaching services where they would get all the basketball players together and they would talk to us about the Word of God. And I don't think that they were saying anything any different than what I had heard growing up. It was obviously the same Bible, it was the same Gospel, but at that time, um, perhaps my heart was more open to hearing the Word than ever before, and the Holy Spirit was using His Word just to inflame my heart, and I knew I needed to talk to someone. One night after one of those services, the Word was just burning so much in my heart after it had been proclaimed from the pulpit that I went right up to the platform of the church and found a guy in a suit. And it turned out to be the youth pastor of that church. His name was Ab Thomas. Ab Thomas had his big Bible. It was dog-eared. It was obvious that he knew the word well. And he listened to me compassionately. He let me pour out my heart. He let me pose all sorts of questions. And he didn't judge me. He didn't chide me. He just kept going back to his Bible. And what I remember about that event was he knew the word so well. And he wasn't answering those questions from his own wisdom or from his own experience. He was pointing me back to the Word and pointing me back to the Word. And that night, right there on the platform of that church, I placed my faith and trust in Christ. And, you know, ever since that day, back in December 1977, I've never had a doubt about whether I genuinely knew Christ. And that's because of the truth of verses like 1 John 5, 13. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you might know that you have eternal life. And so the thrill of my story personally is, I get to be like Ab Thomas. And Ab Thomas was like Jesus. And so now I have the privilege of trying to point people to Christ, uh, helping them find answers from the Word of God to the questions they have in their heart.